Okay, so I have placed my salad bowl on my food scale and I've used the zero function to bring it to zero. So now I have the bowl on that I'm going to use and I have myself set at zero so I can weigh out eight ounces of vegetables. In this case, it's all going to be romaine. And I am at eight ounces of romaine lettuce. I'm going to pull this up so you can see this massive pile of lettuce. But I'm going to chop it way, way, way down into a Caesar salad. But this is how I measure. I uh, went ahead and put my bowl on, set my scale to zero, and then added it on. Now I'm just going to be done with the measuring part and go about chopping it and preparing the salad. While we're at this, I thought I would share for you how I, I buy a head of romaine uh, and I wash it. And I place it in a bag amongst paper towels that are wet. And those wet paper towels help to keep the lettuce crisp. I prepared this head of lettuce a week ago. And this salad, these lettuce, is as crisp as could be. And it has been in this container for a full week. So I place a few sheets in here. You'll see how it's done. I wash the lettuce, I let it dry off, and then I lay it on sheets of wet, damp paper towels. And then I lay them in there, sheet after sheet, and the sheets of paper towels are what helps keep it crisp. Okay, this is the salad dressing. So for the romaine salad, um, I want to be able to cover it in dressing. Like I want it to be coated. So I want to find ways to make my dressing go further. I'm using the Bolt House Farms Caesar dressing. Remember on your MRC program, you're looking for salad dressings that meet the three, three criteria, less than three grams of carbs, less than three grams of fat per serving. This has one, uh, three grams of fat, sorry, and three grams of carbs. So this meets the criteria, just barely, um, but it does. And so the creamy Caesar dressing will be a two tablespoon portion. And I used a little bit under two tablespoons because this dressing is 50 calories per serving. I wanted to bring the calories down a little bit. So I used about two and a half, I'm sorry, about one and a half tablespoons, but you can use up to the full two. I'm just giving you some ideas about how, ways you can kind of save as you go. So I'm using this dressing. Two tablespoons is a full serving size. I used one tablespoon of oil. You could have used olive oil. Uh, I used coconut oil today. This is my healthy fat serving on my program. I put one tablespoon in. So in this bowl, I have two tablespoons of dressing, one tablespoon of oil, and then I have a nice squeeze of lemon because lemon is a natural um, ingredient in a Caesar salad. It also helps to brighten the flavor of this um, and it helped it go a little bit further. So when I got to that point, I decided it was great, but it was still nice and thick, which was a good thing. So I added one tablespoon of water because that simply helped it go even a little bit further. And I just wanted, again, I wanted as much dressing as possible to coat my salad. So my salad dressing at this point is two tablespoons of Bolt House Caesar, a tablespoon of oil, such as olive or coconut, nice big squeeze of lemon, and one tablespoon of water to thin it up because I wanted it to go further. So we're gonna finely chop our lettuce, and you can do this as small as you'd like. I like really thin chopped pieces of lettuce, almost like a chopped salad. This salad um, is nice and fresh. I showed you how I stored it earlier. I'm gonna put all eight ounces. Now listen, if you don't want a full eight ounces of salad, maybe that's just more than you want. You could do say four, five, six ounces and then just throw some tomatoes in. No rule says a Caesar salad can't have tomatoes. Throw tomatoes or cucumbers in if you'd like, whatever works for you. Okay, I'm gonna pour this salad dressing, which at this point is like four or five tablespoons full because I added the water, I added the oil, I added the lemon juice. So I'm gonna pour this in because this is so, I want this dressing to be so coated I may forget every little bit out. Then I'm gonna use my tongs, you could use two forks, and I'm gonna toss my salad to get it completely combined in all of that dressing. I want every bit of it to have dressing on it. So I'm tossing that salad in all of that dressing. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to, whoops, lost a little along the way. I'm going to add my Parmesan cheese to this, which I'll show you next. And then I will do a little taste because I may add a little bit more lemon. I love lemon in a Caesar salad and it will add more flavor. 
So this is nice and coated already though, so we're gonna continue. Okay, so for today, I am going to use, you have some options. You could look at your metabolic menu in the combo section, and you could choose to have the protein cheese combo, which is a half ounce of cheese, which is what I have here, and three ounces or four ounces, depending on your menu of protein. Or you can just split them in half. If you love Parmesan cheese, you could just take each and split it in half. So you could do one ounce of cheese, that's half your cheese serving, and you could take your protein and split it in half. If your protein's four ounces, do two. That's what I'm gonna do today. So on my food scale, I have one ounce of cheese weighed on my scale. I'm sorry, I moved it around, but it was one ounce of cheese. I'm gonna shave this into my Caesar salad, and then I'm gonna put two ounces of chicken in my salad. I'm gonna show you a very unsophisticated way. If you have a cheese shaver, great. If you want to grate the cheese, that's wonderful too, but I like the, the shaved pieces in my salad like this, and I'm just gonna use a peeler, like a potato or apple peeler. So I'm just gonna peel, shave my cheese into the salad. I'm gonna shave the whole ounce into this salad, which is gonna give me great flavor, but I like to taste the cheese. I want bites of cheese in my salad, so I'm gonna shave it. But again, you could just grate the one ounce right in, um, in small grated pieces. So when we talk about the cheese, let me show you what I purchased. This is block Parmesan cheese. You can get anything you'd like, uh, but I buy, buy this in the block like this. The pre-shredded Parmesan cheese often comes with added things in it. Um, cellulose, wood fiber, uh, potato starch, uh, various coating things to keep it from sticking. And so I find using the Parmesan not only leaves that out, but it actually gives it better flavor um, because the anti-caking agents kind of take away the flavor a little bit. So when you want a cheese and you really want to taste the cheese, like Parmesan is a nice strong flavor, you're using it on purpose, then that's when I really like to use something like this because I know that I'm gonna get the most pungent flavor. Another option for your cheese is if you want to cut it on a cutting board and you don't have a potato or cheese grater, just cut it very fine like this in shaved pieces and this will give you the same action that I just did. And I like it like this, but if you wanna make sure that you have maximum coverage and you want cheese in every bite, you could cut it a little bit smaller like that and throw it in, it's totally your call. But you see what's happening here is I'm getting this out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna incorporate this cheese in, but I wanna make sure that I have Parmesan in every bite. All right, so I've got my one ounce of Parmesan cheese shaved and mixed into my salad. Now I'm gonna to top this salad with chicken and my hack on croutons. Okay, I've cooked a little bit of chicken in the air fryer. You could have cooked this on the stovetop in the oven. Would be a great use for leftover chicken right now. Perfect use to le use leftover chicken. If you throw a bunch of chicken on the grill and you have some chicken left. If your family's having chicken for dinner, you need two ounces of chicken. Whether you want to cook a small piece of chicken on the stovetop or in the air fryer like I just did, it's up to you. I season it with a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of salt and pepper. Super simple because my flavors are coming from a salad. All right, we have a Caesar salad topped with grilled chicken. I'm going to give it a nice squeeze of lemon on the top. And then we're going to talk about croutons, which are really important in a Caesar salad. They're a big part of a Caesar salad. So you could make croutons with pita chips, with tortilla chips, with a piece of 50 calorie bread. But I am going to use my Good Thins crackers because I can get a load of flavor. They're very crispy like croutons and um, I get a nice plentiful portion. Okay, so when we use crackers or things like crackers on program, you get a 50 calorie serving. So crackers vary. You're gonna look at the side of the box and you're gonna figure out 17 pieces, 130 calories. So I'm gonna get a little less than half of that. So about seven or eight pieces would equal my serving. So I went with seven pieces for my, and I today use the three cheese flavor because I thought that went good with the Caesar, but you could use whatever flavor you wanted. I took these crackers. I'm going to, so one cracker. What I'm just doing is kind of dividing this up so that I can have air quote crackers, croutons in each bite. And this gives me 
great flavor and a crouton vibe with um i don't get a if i were to use real croutons um and stick with the 50 calorie portion i would get like two or three croutons so this gives me a whole lot more um and i want that in the salad because i would like to have a bite of cheese and croutons and every single bite so this my friends is a chicken caesar salad our veggie is our lettuce could also use tomatoes our protein is our parmesan cheese and our chicken our condiment servings are using our Bolt House Farms dressing. Again, a condiment is less than three grams of fat, less than three grams of carbs. Our Parmesan cheese we got here in the block form. We use that as a protein. Lemon is your friend in this salad. And then your carbohydrate in this salad is your Good Thins crackers or whatever else you wanted to use to make your croutons. Enjoy!